Hey, this is a quick tutorial on um, Poser and kind of converting a Poser format uh, into a Duff or a Daz Studio. Um, the main reason, there's other tutorials out there how to create the proper linking. This is mostly um, a sh really quick and dirty uh, way of um, when you say you drag in a Poser model when turn the lead limits on. You get this error saying, hey, I can't find this this texture or this 3D object or this, um, you know, what have you. And um, you know it's there. You've confirmed it in the past. Um, but you just have to, like, every single time you have to, like, locate the file. Okay, this is the file name. You have to go to the folder directory. And then look it up, find it. Open file location, yada, yada. Click and you get here and you press OK and then you have to do this every single time you load the model in. It gets super annoying. So um, how one way you can get around this is you navigate to where the file is saved. You load whatever needs to be loaded and then you work, what we're going to do is convert this file from a poser file to a duff file. So one of the ways of doing this is if you go to um, select the file um, you want to the sometimes some DAS files will have parts inside of it that are like other meshes um, that are individual where sometimes those will be spit out of the model and put underneath it um, which um, that case scenario can be a little bit different but in this scenario this is kind of just one mesh um, so what we're gonna do is go to edit figure we're going to go to uh, rigging and convert uh, figure to weight mapping and what this is I've I've really seen the top one being used I don't know if this um, this one works better I just I've just seen more people use this top method click accept it's going to now convert it to a uh, duff format and what you can do from here is you do file save as supported asset uh, figure slash prop asset and what this is um, is going to save it in a location of your, of your choosing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this um, businesswoman because I actually already went through and did the top one so all right click save this information comes up um, the content type category compatibility base and compatible uh, with you can set those up later and I actually have another video on how to set that up so other information like clothing hair uh, poses and materials can go along with it but this is the general information so this is the asset directory where it's going to be saved and I'm saving it in my old poser files and then um, the vendor name, um, and then the product name. So this is going to, you can create a product here, Poser Businessman, let's do Poser uh, Businesswoman. And then we're just gonna press accept. And then now, this model, we can delete it. Now if we go to old poser files in the DAS Studio, and so this is a double-edged sword too that I probably need to show you guys as well. What um, I did is I created the folder, actually I didn't create, I found um, a file on another YouTube video and I'll actually maybe include that in the, in the link where you can download the basic folder structure of what the DAS Studio is that you can paste directly on top uh, because the folder structure is different and if you add the same directory in the DAS uh, portion it won't read anything because it doesn't see the folder structure so you can actually just copy and paste this folder structure in on top of your poser uh, files 
And all you need to do is then when you did that file save as process and selected the figure slash prop, you can actually select the figures folder. And in this, um, I'll link the I'll link it into the video. There's a peoples, and I just created a new folder in here and just kind of mimic the structure. And how that looks like here is I went to people, and then I called it old poser characters, and then businessman. Technically, I say businesswoman in here too, so I might just call it something different. But those are where the main files are located, and then um, how they kind of set it up is uh, like Occhio Three. Here's all of your stuff in here, and you can like just kind of copy and paste. Um, just to guess their way of making it a lot cleaner. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not super clean when it comes to this stuff. Um, but now in Daz Studios, if you add that directory. By right clicking add base directory there you go and then um, you can go to uh, figures no nope. people and then navigate to your folder old poser characters and then there's businessman and then in here there's businessman businesswoman drag and drop it boom it does no longer asking for those files, those files are now linked properly, and there you go. So I hope that helps. If that's unclear, and um, you know, just leave a message in the comments, and um, maybe I'll have a follow-up question to any other um, a follow-up response to any of those. All right, thanks for watching.